Yeah, I would suggest that that potentially is true. So uh, our study was looking at antibody responses in people who've had SARS-CoV-2 infection and tracking these over time to look at how long these antibody responses are lasting for. So the good news is if you've had a high antibody titer from having a severe disease, then these antibodies remain high for quite some time, at least in the time period that we study. But for some people who have a mild disease, their antibody response is much lower. And once they've reached the peak, these start to decline over two to three months and become more uh, to the level of detection of our assay. So this would suggest that that perhaps we're not going to be producing long-term um, antibody responses that will prevent infection. And this mimics more what we see in seasonal coronavirus infections, which are endemic in, in the human population. And that's the common cold, really? Yes, the common cold, yeah. yeah. That sounds like pretty bleak news. Is, is it? I mean, not necessarily. So other people's studies have shown that although the antibody, although antibody responses are are declining people have looked at the memory responses produced by the infection so we can see that there are b, there is b cell memory that's produced so this would suggest that if you're re-exposed to um, the virus then you will have a more rapid production of your immune response against the virus and it may be that you don't have such severe disease um, although you may be carrying um, the virus so there is hope in the sense that most of the people in our study were producing these neutralizing antibodies and if they've uh, produced memory alongside these, then this would suggest that you have some, some level of um, immunity against them, but it may not stop you being actively infected, but may stop you seeing having disease. Um, what are the implications then for the long-awaited vaccine? I mean, does it mean you'd have to have several shots of a vaccine, a more potent vaccine? I mean, when we think about the immune response to infection, you see a vast range of different responses, but within a, in a vaccine, people are receiving the same type of exposure. So you would expect a more uniform response. So if the vaccine mimics more the severe infection and therefore got higher antibody, neutralizing antibody titers that, that stayed high for a longer period of time, then perhaps, then that would be the, the ideal goal for a vaccine to mimic that. I mean, it's been said that antibodies are only really part of the story, that actually <laughs> some people seem to fight coronavirus with T cells. Is that, does that give you hope for the future that, you know, we're not just looking at an antibody response here? Yeah, so we have to consider the two arms of the human immune system together. So you have T cells and uh, B cells. So the B cells produce the antibodies and they can be easily studied by taking blood samples. So I think a lot of attention has been taken on these because it's much easier to study than T cell responses. So I think in terms of looking at vaccine protection and immunity in people, we need to look both at the T cell and the B cell response. A lot of people had hoped that there would be some kind of solution soon, whether it's a vaccine or something else. Your findings seem to be a bit of a reality check for that. I think it's too early to make strong conclusions that this is very negative data. I guess it's not going to be that there's one vaccine will stop everything in the future, but there is hope that people are producing the right types of responses and it's a case of um, maintaining those in the right way and really trying to understand what protection from in a vaccine looks like and how to improve on that. Does what you've discovered show that you've got to do everything you can to stop yourself getting the virus because you might get it again a few months later? I wouldn't advocate trying to get the virus to give yourself immunity. I think combined, a, a vaccine is really needed to try and help with this idea of, of herd immunity. But I, I would avoid trying to get the virus. Katie Dawes, thanks very much.